People often see this dialog window as they open a Pro Tools session and wonder what it really means. Most of the time you can just ignore it and hit no. You could save a detailed report and then go retrieve it, but there's an even easier way to check. Just hit no here. It'll open your session. Now you could just play your session if you're hearing it and everything seems okay. Disregard. If you really want to find out what's going on, there's a few places to look. In your setup menu, choose Playback Engine. At the top of this window, you'll see what hardware you're using. I only have two choices. It appears that this session was probably using my Mbox 2 instead of my ASIO for all. Now, if I want to keep the hardware as it is, I'll click OK, go to Setup menu, and then I can look at I.O. The I.O. setup is going to show you what inputs and outputs are enabled. Right now, my output label says that it's an Mbox 2, but it doesn't match up with the ASIO for all, which I'm using as my playback engine. The simplest way to fix a funky looking I.O. setup is to click Default. If it still doesn't look right, you may need to rename one of the paths, or you could delete it and try defaulting again. You'll notice up here at the top there are several tabs or pages for the I.O. setup. You're going to want to check the Inputs page, the Outputs page, and the Bus page. If it all looks really messed up, what you may need to do is shift-click all of the paths, delete the paths, and then try default again. I want to jump over to the bus page and make sure that's correct. If you're not sure, it never hurts to click default. Now when I look at audio tracks in the mix window, everything is set to no output, and that's because I reset the I.O. setup. I could simply reassign that, or if you have several tracks, you could hold Alt on your Windows machine or Option on your Mac, choose one output, and all the same type of tracks follow. There's a few common causes of this dialog window. Let's take a look. Number one, if your hardware is not connected. For example, if I didn't have my Mbox plugged in, Pro Tools will automatically try to use other hardware. So make sure your hardware is connected and online. Another thing that can cause that dialog is in Setup Menu, I.O., you have this option to choose Sessions Overwrite current I.O. setup when opened. Most of the time, you do not want to have this checked. If this is checked, every session will save its own I.O. setup so that when you go to the next session, it could give you that message. And again, most of the time when you see this message as you open Pro Tools, it's normally harmless. But hopefully now you understand what it means and how to troubleshoot if there's a problem. Thanks for watching.